Okay, so welcome back. I've got a real treat for you today. We're going to use Nano Banana to create some images using make.com as the, the method of kind of orchestrating the process. Uh, you'll be pretty amazed with some of the results we can get from it. So as I say in the classics, here's inside my computer. Uh, so let's talk talk about this as basically an overview of exactly what's happening here. Uh, firstly, we're getting an image, which is just uh, a Google image, sorry, an image I've saved on a Google Drive. Uh, then we're, we're using this HTTP request to download that particular image. Then we're going to be encoding that image, which is a really important step. It won't work without that. Once we've encoded the image, we we use the we call the the Nano Banana API, which I'll show you where to get all that information. Uh, we save the Nano Banana's response as binary, and then we save it back to Google Drive. Okay, so firstly, I'll I'll pick out. I'm just going to pause the video, and we're going to have a look at the the Google sorry the image I've got saved in Google Drive, just so you know that we're not cheating. Okay, so here's an image of me in my younger days. What we're going to do is request that we want to put another person into the image here that looks completely natural and as though it was there right from the very start. Okay, so before I show you a final image, let's actually run through the sequence and just see in a bit more detail exactly what's going on. So basically, first of all, we're getting an image. Uh, all this step does is actually look at our Google Drive, pick out a file, uh, this particular file is that that image I just showed you of me in uh, in Cambodia. Uh, the role is reader and the type is anyone. That's what you need to be able to get a download link, uh, which is what we use in the next step when we're downloading an image. Okay, so basically this one here, from the previous step, it gets the web content link. This one here, uh, we'll close that. And basically what that does is kind of puts into the, the make.com memory the image that we've uh, previously uh, pointed to with this uh, get an image uh, module. So then now this is an important step. Uh, make.com has an inbuilt function called base64, which uh, encodes the binary data that it gets from the, when it downloads the image. And in this case, we're, we're saving into this variable source image base 64. You could call it Bob's mowing if you wanted. It could be anything you wanted, but basically that it's always good to name something that's actually meaningful to the particular process, which in this case, source image base 64 is pretty cool. And now for the part you're all interested in, which is how we call the Nano Banana API. So let's have a look here. It's reasonably complicated, but basically, uh, first of all, we need to get a, a Gemini API key, which I'll just pause now and I'll show you where we get that from. You need to register yourself with uh, Google AI Studio, which is aistudio.google.com. Uh, has a few other bits at the end there, but um, if you type in aistudio.google.com into search, you'll, you'll get to the right place. Uh, there, When it first comes up, assuming you have a Google account, it'll give you the option to get an API key. Uh, I've already created one previously, so it looks like this, but, but what you do, you'd go, you click on this plus button, create API key and, and get a key. I, I won't go into full detail. Firstly, I don't want to expose any of my own API keys. And secondly, I'm sure you won't have too much difficulty figuring this out for yourself. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's just leave that at that for the moment. We'll go back to our make.com. Actually, before we get back to make.com, a, a good thing to do with this is to actually just use the, the Gemini chat. If you're in doubt, say for example, let's say what API do I call for uh, Nano Banana image generation. This is just a little example of, of the kind of thing you can you can prompt Gemini to, to actually give you useful information. Oh, it's not familiar with it. That's interesting. Uh, that was working a moment ago. Nano banana. It's possible nano banana. How bizarre. Cancel and use temporary chat. I'm gonna pause this for a moment, just figure out what's going on. Okay, so uh, Google Gemini's made a liar out of me. I think because I'm recording at the same time as I'm using the prompt, it's actually not 
not letting me prompt it properly, so I'll just leave that for the moment. But basically, what it previously gave me was this URL to use to to send our automation uh, key to. Uh, basically, okay, I, I won't read that out, but basically there's a Gemini 2.5 flash with image preview, which is uh, effectively Nano Banana. Uh, one thing you will see with this automation Gemini key, in fact, I can't show it to you, but basically if we were to add one, you, you need to change this to, uh, I think it's x google dash sorry, x dash goo dash api dash key, but um, you'll be able to find that easily enough uh, by doing good old Google. Okay, so our method is post. Headers, we don't add any because we're already adding the key in the in the credentials up the top here. Uh, the body type is raw. Content type is JSON, application slash JSON. And that gets added as a content type request header. Now, request body, this is important. So basically, you'll be able to get this string from within the Google AI Studio. If we go back to Studio, uh, where were we? In fact, let's not do it that way, but basically there is a section within the Studio that gives you the, gives you the actual API call, or else you can Google or Google Gemini it. Basically, we've got this, or you can copy it direct from this screen if you if you like. Uh, so I've got a JSON here with contents, parts, inline data. Now, these are the two fields that, well, the two of the three fields that matter. The MIME typing image slash JPEG. Now, if your image is a is a PNG or a portable network graphic file, you'd have image slash PNG. Uh, there's several other types it could potentially be, but JPEG and PNG, I know, work. Uh, and data. This is where we get the image data that we've actually base64 encoded in this step here. And we use that, we use that variable uh, into our data here. And it, it puts a huge long numeric uh, and character string into there, which actually represents an image. And here is another important feature here. We've got this text, and this is the prompt text. So basically, you saw the earlier, earlier image I had of me. Uh, at the Angkor Wat temples in Cambodia, what we're going to do is go and add a, add a woman to the image, so, so a little travel partner for me. Uh, we'll leave that there. So that's, that's how that works. Uh, then what we do is we save the responses binary. So a variable name, new image binary. Again, you use a user method or user name, I should say, that actually makes some sense. And it has this inbuilt function to binary, and we're pulling the data that we get from the Nano Banana API, which is this data here, uh, inline data. In fact, that's not that's not it. It's actually my mistake. It's this one up here. It's this candidates uh, contents. This is what the response will look like when it comes through. Uh, and it's this inline data. It's this one here. We want right here data. And one thing I didn't mention on this step back here is that you need to pass the data when it comes out. So basically pass response, we want yes, because that'll put us to put it into a nice format that make and, make and a human can kind of read to be able to use in the next step, which we saw here. Uh, importantly, we, we're, we're, we're telling it for two binary from base64. That's kind of a make.com setting that you can use. And once we've done that, we'd simply save it to Google Drive uh, using a connection. I've just got to select from this my my drive. We're saving it to the same folder location that we got the first image from, and we're going to map it. Um, output three PNG is what it'll be called, and the data is actually the data from the previous step, which is the binary binary we get from this uh, encoding. Okay, so now we've done all of that. Let's run it. Let's hide that for a moment, and we will go. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so it's got the image, downloaded it, encoded it. It takes a little while to go through the API. We'll just wait patiently for that to work. It takes about 10 seconds. And hopefully we will have a good image to look at here. Let's have a look. That's my original image. Let's go to output three. We have a travel partner. Here we go. Wow. Cool. Okay, I never ne never met it before, but there you go, all done. Anyway, so that's how it works. Uh, you're welcome to work work back through the 
uh, through back through the the sequence of that video and actually copy it at any any stage. Any questions? Put them in the comments. Thanks very much.